What's up, people? This is Derek. It's your boy, and welcome to my channel, Derek Hudson Vlogs. If you're not smiling, I'm not smiling. But if you're smiling, I'm definitely smiling. Today's video is going to be about the day I went to jail. Yeah, I went to jail when I was like 15 years old. It all started, me and my mother got into an argument. And I had to, I ran away from home. Didn't know where I was going, but I just ran away from home. So I ran away, I walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked until I came across this woman in a, a woman walking down the street. I was gonna ask her a question, so me being 15, I didn't know how, and me being shy at the time, I didn't know how to approach a person to ask them for directions, but I got lost. So I was trying to ask this woman a question, uh, direction to get to the nearest uh, bus stop. So I get home, you know what I'm saying? So what I did is I grabbed the woman's bag trying to get her attention. She assumed I was trying to steal her bag. So meeting her, she's trying to hit me and stuff like that. I'm trying to hold her bag, you know what I'm saying? Cause she's trying to hit me and everything. All I wanted to do was ask her a question. She misinterpreted as I was trying to rob her. So me and her, I'm trying to hold, keep her off me from trying to hit me and everything. I'm, I got her grabbing her bag at the same time, trying to defend myself because she's trying to hit me and everything. Next thing you know, some dude in a um, Jeep pulls up. Now, the first thing I do is, uh, yo, I'm getting scared. I'm 15 years old. I'm scared. Yo, I, I don't know who this dude is. So I start running. So I start running. And I run. I'm running so fast. I'm so afraid. So scared. That I, actually, I, get, I got to this yard. I jumped the fence. Now I haven't done that ever again. But I, my, I guess my just got this adrenaline rush. And I'm ju I jump over the the, uh, the fence. The fence was like, what, four feet tall? I just whoosh, leaped over that fence. I'm still running. I'm, I jumped over the fence. I get land on my feet. Miraculously. I'm, I, I start running again. This dude, I, I didn't even bother to look back to see if this dude was chasing me. I come to the... And to the to the front yard, I think it's the front backyard. I don't know. I was so in a much in a panic that I just, just didn't know what was going on. So I get to the other side to the other side of the yard, and out comes this dude in the jeep again. He jumps out his jeep. He pulls out a a, 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 a gun. That's what I call a close encounter. Pointed straight at me and told me if I keep move, if I keep if I run, if I move, he gonna shoot me. What? So the first thing I do is I stop, put my hands up. You know what I'm saying? Put my hands up. I ain't getting shot. No way, Jose. I'm a black man. You know the statistics on that. So I put my hands, put my hands up. Cop came, dude came over, threw me to the ground, kicked, kneed me in my face. I'm all sitting there screaming, hollering. This dude hit, hit kneeing me in my face. My face. I was just, it was just crazy. Strangely, I feel like staying at home and doing my homework and flossing and dying a virgin. I didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying I just wanted to ask the woman a question. I did, you know what I'm saying direction to get to the nearest bus stop. Like I said, she tried to, she misinterpreted, and all this led to me. You know what I'm saying this dude come to find out he's an undercover cop. You know what I'm saying he got me on the ground, he put my hands around me, uh, on my back. You know what I'm saying hurting my arms and everything, but you know what the, the cop gotta do, what he gotta do, you know I'm saying to apprehend somebody. So shoot, he got me my arms behind my back. He's putting the handcuffs on. He helps me up. Get, and he's like, what, what, what was you doing? Why are you trying to steal that woman's purse? I'm like, I'm trying to explain. I didn't try to steal that woman's purse. I was trying to ask the directions, but he didn't care what I had to say. So we go to the uh, the jail up in um downtown boston because that's where i'm from boston so i'm downtown boston in the jail cell for the first time in my life Gilbert. my mother came i only got it they only get i was sitting in the cell and gave me a hamburger man they did that i, I appreciate that i know i was hungry after all that running uh, yeah it was on a friday night friday 
So I'm in, so it's now the weekend. It's Monday. I go to court. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's my first time, like I said, going to prison, going to jail. What's up, man? It wasn't even trying to do. I'm in a cell. I go to court. I think I told my lawyer that I tried to rob her. The lawyer told the judge what I that that I admitted to the crime, even though I was too scared, too petrified. I didn't know what to do, so I just made up anything. I'm you know saying I think it probably if I tell if I tell them this, tell them what they want to hear, they'll let me go. The judge ends up sentencing me to three months in in um juvie. You know what I'm saying this place called Hillside. Hillside, I don't think it's there anymore. It's like a new place now. But back then, it was uh, for the kids under eight. For anyone under eighteen, they went there. So I'm there and everything. My experience in in that place it wasn't that bad. I enjoyed it very much. I met this dude. His name was Bob. He said that that um, I forget what he taught, but he said that he would um, that he was gonna be a, a famous golfer one day. But we ever get out, whenever we get out of whatever the juvie, juvie, that we should watch the golf and stuff and see, get to see him. I don't know if he ever became famous or not. Never bothered to watch golf that much. Other than when Tiger Woods was great, now he ain't. So stop watching golf altogether. But I met this other guy, this black guy. I think he was from Jamaica. He used to call the group I uh, I was with. Or does the Toyota, the Toyota boys because he asked us all if we like to uh kind of call we like everybody said toyota so he kept calling us the toyota boys um while i was there they let us uh play video games they let us uh wait list stuff like that it wasn't that bad i wanted to get out of there um my mom came to visit me a lot and stuff like that. I, I, I didn't want to be there. It's my first time being locked up, but I didn't want to be there. And I, ever since then, I never, ever got in trouble ever again. I guess that was a learning experience. I never want to ever go to jail ever again. Even though that experience as a uh, teenager uh, wasn't that bad, it taught me not to, not to do anything or uh, do something that can be perceived as wrong. So I, I've been been doing good since then, but I uh, was like what three months I was in I was in there, and then finally they let me out. Good behavior because I, I didn't do nothing wrong there. I followed the directions. I obeyed all the uh, the guards and stuff like that. They did nothing wrong with my time there. So to get let me out. Yes. Good behavior. Yes. Oh yeah. Can you feel that? Buddy, huh, huh, huh. So that's basically my story about the day I went to jail. So thanks you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're watching this video for the first time and you enjoy the content, please subscribe to my video. Please give me a thumbs up down below this video. And if you have a comment, uh, you want to share any story you have about your experience as a child, if you went, as a teenager, if you went to jail, went to juvie, even as an adult, you want to share your story, please do so in the comments below and share this video to your friends, family, neighbors, co workers, people you know. But wait, there's more. You call your friends, I'll call my friends, and we all could be friends. Peace. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,